This handsome Hawaiian over here is the co-chair of the Native Hawaiian Caucus. He is also the assistant majority whip, and he is uh, the district or senator of the district we live in, in Kaneohe. Jared Kiohokolole is here. Aloha, Ooh. Senator. Aloha. Ooh. Happy New Year. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm a fan of House of Cards, or used to be, and I know that the majority whip, so you the guy that got to help keep all the, whip all the votes and get everybody in line. Whip everybody yeah, but in line. there's only shape. 25 in the Senate, so it's not that hard to count. <laughs> you so all over the I kind of imagine yeah. you just kind of getting out there and making, you know, big body. Is no, that, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're, we're cordial in the Senate. Aww. That doesn't mean we don't fight. We don't. <laughs> you know, because we see him. Lena Girl is a big part of the uh, Kaneohe Christmas Parade and the, the planning committee. And every year we see you uh, in the parade, and you have you kind of have the wave down already. Can, can I, you, can you, you have to. You, I, I just throw shakas. Yeah, I learned from Billy Kinoy. Just throw a double shaka if it's extra, extra, extra <laughs> important. Yeah, got to go to the parade. Well, we got a big um, a day for you guys coming up next week, Wednesday. It's the opening of this year's legislative session. And we were talking off air about uh, the similarities, some similarities that Kaneohe has um, with uh, Lahaina or even Makaha here on the island of Oahu, where um, some parts it's, it's verdant. You guys like that word, verdant, and green. And some parts it gets dry. And one of that is by Kalaha Hill High School. And we're talking about the, what, what can we do to make sure that we don't um, encounter something like a wildfire in that, that area? I have to Google Verdant after this. See how <laughs> I that. know, right? He has yeah, yeah. 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 out his big words for you. <laughs> so Maui is going to be one of the major issues that uh, we're going to deal with in the legislature. Part of it is the recovery and assisting all the families over there and staying in Maui, but just getting their lives put back together and rebuilding the town. But the other part is prevention. How can we make sure that this doesn't happen again in the future? How can we make sure that our systems are better designed to respond to crises that come from changing climate? So you're right, We even on the wet windward side, we have parts of our uh, community that get very dry mm -hmm. in those dry summer months. And we have to do a better job in conservation areas, mostly up Malka, that we just haven't paid attention to in the past. When they dry out, they they become a liability, and everyone yeah. gets very concerned now. And so we just have to do a better job and address that in the future. Well, I'm glad you guys are doing that because you know I think everybody's awareness is heightened, mm -hmm. especially because after the devastation in Lahaina. Now, um, another part that you know we last summer we were all actually over there in Las Vegas. We went uh, for the inaugural Hawaiian Native Hawaiian Convention with CNH, and it breaks our heart every year we see. In fact, yesterday we saw a story that many of our Kanaka, our, our Native Hawaiians, even just our local people have to move away from our aina and move to the continent. So what are you guys doing in the Senate to address affordable housing? So, uh, good question. That's definitely uh, the, the next priority after Maui, if, uh, if we were to rank them. And it's also a part of the Maui situation as well. So, you know, as it relates to the Native Hawaiian community, the Department of Hawaiian Homelands is now into year two of facilitating that big $600 million allocation. They were on schedule for the first year, so we just want to make sure that they continue to get the, the funds out the door to build new projects and get them online on schedule. And we also need to take a look at statewide how we can make sure we foster affordable housing, provide the right incentives, and make the process go a lot faster. I like that. I'm so glad oh, yeah. they're thinking about that already. I know. I'm glad, too. And for those people that do already have homes, part of it is taking care of those homes. We're kind of worried about some of the invasive species that have been coming into our, our, our communities. Is that correct? Absolutely. You know, on Oahu, we've been inundated with little fire ant. The neighbor islands, Big Island, has been suffering from it for a long time. It's gone ignored. But also the coconut rhinoceros beetle, you know, it, it not only attacks coconut trees, but you know, it can go after banana, it can go after taro, papaya. These are our core agricultural commodities as well. It's gonna change our way of life. It's, you know, seeing some of the devastation around the coconut groves on the west side is really sad. Mm -hmm. So we gotta pay more attention to it. We need to put resources behind it, but we gotta make sure that our, that our agencies are responding appropriately and taking it serious. Senator. Thank you so much for joining us. We hope you can come back during the session to kind of Please. update us uh, on what, what you guys have been able to accomplish. We'd love to have you, and thank you so much for being on the show. Mahalo, Mahalo for having me.